Welcome back. We are in the middle of a hard mission where we gotta break these devices, but we're getting smacked around quite a bit. Ow. Unfortunate. All who serve the lift of fall. Now that's a big move. That's one charge down, but you're not out of the woods yet. Holy crap! Oh, that's not good. I have one, two, three attacking me individually. May have made a bad choice. Please resist. Nope. Oh, six to seven. Not bad. One twenty-five. Really bad. Shit. All right, there's a way to do significant damage. If I can just figure it out. I want to be able Four targets, so one, two, three, four. Sorry. 
Oh, that's actually slightly problematic. Oh. Interesting. Maybe I shouldn't have used that. Because now I don't know what to do. My chain strike isn't gonna do enough. My quick kick's gonna leave me supremely vulnerable to those two, three. Everyone's gonna hit me, yeah. Oh, that's all I had to do? Oh, I'm dumb. 67 gloss is actually pretty tragic. I thought I was gonna have to finish everyone. I feel dumb now. All that planning for nothing. I probably could have kept this in the last episode. If, well, I mean, I would have had to act much faster, but, you know. Book club meeting? I have not been informed about a book club. How can I help? Uh, Are you adjusting to life at the Abbey? I'm getting three hearts in a cart. For me, that's luxury. Right? While I have you, Blade said he wants to speak with you. Not hot. You're not hot racking either. Say what? I don't want to steal his thunder. Oh, is it me? I never used to say that until I met Thor. <laughs> Why exactly does Blade want to speak with me? You'll have to ask him. But be sure you do it tonight. But... Magic. Are you all right? I should be able to do both, I think. No, Hunter, I am not. And neither is Limbo. The dark energy is increasing. This danger you feel. Have you given more thought to what could be causing it? Yes. But no, we know what's causing it. it out loud. It is all right to fear, Magic. I am not afraid, Hunter. It's just, once I say his name, he becomes real again. Ah. Words have power. I do not want to give him any more than he already has. He? If I am right, we will see soon enough. My guy, we've had this conversation, we know. That's all I can say. We know who the he is, and I'm a little upset that I didn't. So poorly on that one. I should have known better. Why is Carol not available for hangout? Hey, the mission's not over until we all What are you up so late reading? The twisted brain drippings of that psycho Faustus? You know you almost this had me though. This is like a love letter to Alistair Crowley, the Necronomicon, Jack the Ripper, and Charles Manson. All remixed into some nightmarish open mic poetry. Nice. I'm going to be up all night trying to make sense of it. See if it helps us find our way Modern back Modern woman's wet sink. dream. Get some rest. You are exhausted, Carol. Get some rest. You can crack Faustus's code tomorrow. 
It's not that I don't appreciate the sentiment, Hunter, but I'll tap out when I'm ready. Alrighty then. Besides, if I went to sleep right now, this nightmare juice would be sure to terrorize me with bad dreams. And when I say bad dreams, I don't mean Lovecraftian demons or Cenobites. I mean being stuck at a 12-hour poetry slam in the East Village. You know, real horror. Sounds pretty bad. Listen to this crap. Lilith, your name is a black hole for men like me to lose their souls. How I await to be suffocated in your arms. Choke on the dark tendrils of your hair. Murder me, goddess, and I will help you murder this dimension. Okay, then. Someone should warn my mother! <laughs> oh, man. That's honestly the best option. <laughs> Someone should warn my mother. <laughs> oh, yeah. Poor Lilith. Even she can do better than Faustus. All I can say is Hydra's got a real HR problem on their slimy hands. Right? Well, I ought to get back to burning the midnight oil. I got about 400 pages to go of this crap. I'll let you know what I find out. Anything new in the war room? Nope. We're at nominal levels of war. Hey, did Blade talk to you about tonight? So it is you three. What is tonight? Ah, spoiler. He wants to tell you himself. Don't let me keep you. So, with the exception of Caretaker, the three oldest people four oldest people are going to be doing a book club. That actually sounds really awesome. Looking forward to our next mission. Yes, yes, yes. A few of us are meeting up tonight. It's a book club. You're probably busy, but if not, the other said I should invite you. A book club? Yeah, I didn't figure the great and powerful hunter would be into a book club. I love books. Is a book club some form of weapon? Do you strike with the spine? You hear that? That's the sound of agony. <laughs> book clubs are simple. You read books and talk about them. Sometimes there's punch. Anyway, I'm headed to the meeting. I doubt it's your thing, but if you're interested, you could tag along. I don't want the hangout to go away, but I also don't want this to go away. After you. Okay then. I can never remember the order of these things. Hunter. Blade's giving you the stink eye. Or maybe he doesn't like the punch. Either way, I think he wants to speak with you. Here's how this works. We pick out a book, we read the book, and then next meeting we talk about the book. It's my turn to pick, so give me a minute. I need to narrow it down. Your turn to pick? How, off, how long you guys been doing this? What is the best book you have read so far? Uh, none. You have not read any books, but you are starting a book club? Hunter, I've read half the books in the library. I have too many favorites to list. I meant I have no book club favorites yet. Oh. <laughs> Did you already talk about today's book? Well, no. There isn't one for today. Por que no? What kind of book is a book club book? The good ones. That's the plan, at least. You are being evasive, and I do not know why. This is technically our first meeting. Huh. Oh, so I you misrepresented this was a regular thing you did. Right? You yeah, made it seem like I that. Wanted to be. Doesn't matter how sharp your weapons are if your mind is as dull as a brick. Just give me some space. I need to find the right book if I'm going to. I need to pick the right book, okay? All right. Uh, might I recommend the current book I am reading, and that is The Starless Sea? I hope I have time for this. I used to be in one of these with my friend Jess, but it fell apart. What happened? I got reassigned, she had a kid, aliens invaded, the usual. Aliens? Yeah, it's been a busy decade. Only a decade? Good girl, Chuck. 
This is the first book club I've been to that didn't devolve into a knockdown, drag out fight. Must have been some book club. Army. Two years back, Bruce and Tony started huh. an Avengers literature circle. First book chosen was Banner's favorite. Tony hated it. Said it was the worst poetry he'd ever read. That a mascara blinded lab monkey could have written it better. Oof. I still don't know what that means. Uh, it wasn't Test Monkey. Banner's favorite book. It was Hulk's. Oof. Oh no. <laughs> we lost two floors in the Avengers Tower before we down. What happened next? Black Widow invoked the this is why we can't have nice things rule and banned book clubs from meeting at the tower. Nice. All right. I made my decision. So what is it going to be? No, I want to know the book. book oh. Club will be the Art of War by Sun Tzu. Excellent choice. Ooh, classic. Yep, that's an old book. Way older than the Hunter. Ah, The Art of War. I read that when I was 12. Well, then you could reread it. See if you gain a new perspective. Our time is tight, I get it. But stop by the library and read the book before the next meeting. Will do. But I hope you read the whole thing. This book is one of my favorites. The katana gave that away. <laughs> yeah, I'm always around if you want to chat about it. Ah, uh, I'll save it for the next book club. I could chat about it. Uh, nah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, you you want to chat about it with your uh, potential girlfriend? I see it. What did you I think see how it is. Seems like a great way to get to know each other. What do you think about Blade's choice of book? It got me thinking about a book I can choose. It'll have to be a good one to match Blade's pick. See you later. Next time, then. I admit, I like the low-pressure approach we're taking to book club. These things should be fun and informative. Not the high-stakes powder keg of the Stark and Banner book club regime. <laughs> no interactables? No interactables. Can't even drink the punch. I think that went well. Carol seemed to enjoy herself. What do you think? Wait, did you start a book club so Carol would join it? No. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha! We're starting we were to books, peel the layers. Suggested the two of us read a book and talk about it. Captain America overheard and expressed interest. Carol said I was starting a book club, and he asked if he could join. <laughs> then what? What was I supposed to do? Say no to Captain America? I mean, you could technically. <laughs> oh man. Uh, this is the most realistic answer, but the other two are pretty funny on the uh, antagonizing his romantic interest button. Knowledge is the key to a person's heart. You think? It might be the key to Carol's heart. The key to mine is a silver stake, so you got the better end of the deal. Glad you came, Hunter, but don't forget to do the reading. I will not right. forget to do the reading. I'm not kidding. Well, I already have an E strike, right? Yeah. I also have a quick strike. Yeah. Observations of the blood. Notes by Damien Hellstrom. My research has led me to believe that the blood have existed for ages, seeking to eliminate the spawn of Cthone and any other malevolent manifestations they deem to be a threat. We'll continue to dig deeper into their rather murky history. There is much to explore here in Old Salem. No new books, no new books. The Hidden Veil of Gods and Man, Volume 2, excerpt from page 361. Representing raw fury and strength, Set was the first of the elder god of the elders to turn on his fellow gods and consume them. With each god sh shallowed, Set's power grew to unmatched proportion um, proportions. 
I know how to read. With the remaining gods forced to seek refuge elsewhere in the universe, Ostra took to the stars, while Gaia embedded herself within the Earth and created sanctuary for the Earth's inhabitants by sealing the word from both set world from both Set and Cathone's influence. Oh, thanks. Yeah, still that one. Oh, cool. I can still do my hangout. Fortunately, Carol is not an option. I'm getting a feeling that we make a really good team. Are you getting that same feeling? Stargazing is a popular one. And everyone loves stargazing. When you can actually see the stars. Living in a city is bullshit for that. You used to be a surgeon. Yes. yes. What seems like long ago. Do you miss it? No. no. You're <laughs> not usually so brief. Right? Stephen Strange, the surgeon, was a very different person. Selfish, vain, and prone to grandiose delusions of grandeur. <laughs> That's kind of sound a shame, but I also don't necessarily see the difference. How is that different from Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme? Come now, it should be obvious. Fancy your clothes. <laughs> Point to your beard. <laughs> yes. The cloak. Uh, unless surgeons wear cloaks. That's a good one. Go on, have your fun. <laughs> Perfection. Perfection. Nothing less. Liked the activity? Oh, this is bullshit. How do you only like the activity of stargazing? I have a 13% chance, and prior to that, it was probably a 10%, or maybe not 10%, but lower than that. And I resisted almost everything during the Wanda fight. Tactics of the Ancients. A book club favorite. How would you know? Bone. For the few that actually know what bone smells like. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember the last time I smelled a bone. It's probably been at least 10 years. Don't quite remember the smell. Then again, it was a sterile environment, so I'm pretty sure the only smell I was sniffing was formaldehyde. Uh. Sure, why not? I wonder. Nico. Hey, Hunter. This won't take long. Dr. Faustus's ramblings. What in the. Ooh, one's in Wakanda? This keeps getting weirder and weirder. You know, I think Faustus might have been the Zodiac killer. That. Oh, required Captain America. Modded epic ability. And I was gonna send him on this one. I could send him on both. If we had some rookies, I'd say send them out for the experience. But I think we're past that. 
hero level two low. Oh, level 15. They have to be level 15. Interesting. Modded epic ability. Who do I want to get an epic ability? Which means I have to put someone to level 15. Favor? Tony holds up a strange looking cube. Question for you, boss. I know this thing is supposed to be one of Doctor Strange's magical artifacts or whatever, but this is actually some serious advanced tech. Seriously advanced tech. I could make you something real nice out of it. What's your call? Ooh, uh, upgraded epic ability or rare artifact? Thanks, Hunter. Mindbreaker. Apply three berserk. That sounds cool. What does Berserk do? Oh, you are gonna love this. Hell is coming with me completed. Immediately gain multiple training levels. Basically, Doctor Strange used me, the eternal spirit of vengeance, as a mystical welding torch. Not sure that one's going in the comic books. Oh, I have to complete the sit rep. Uh, give me a sec. Okay. Let's get some more epics. I want to get two Sometimes. choices, no less. Morningstar. Ooh, I like that. Give all Morningstar cards plus 38 damage. It's maximum 152. How does that work? Web Slinger. Gain one strength. Free and exhaust. Not bad. I actually kind of like that one. That's modified. If... Magic gets full health plus 27 damage. Yeah, no, you're. <laughs> I'm taking the two epics. I forget I have rerolls, though. Oh, well. No new challenges? See you, Hunter. I don't understand. I did a level 10 upgrade for challenge missions what is this? and I don't get the opportunity to do any other missions or challenges. I'm at a loss. I will bring up the green, big green elephant in the room. Does Bruce Banner still have access to Superlink? No, I had to pull the nightcap arrived at the Abbey. Could he have our information on his spark? The spark is a dumb terminal. It pulls all its data from the servers. No access means no superlink. Could you take pictures of the data? Do you have a camera? A proper one or a phone camera? Go on, try it. Guessing this is why I just heard an air horn. <laughs> Tony Stark, that is a dirty trick. Your spark is not as awful as I thought. <laughs> WHIH Global News Repost Bot. Breaking! Bats local to Dekenia have violently attacked humans, consuming their blood. Authorities issued an alert encouraging everyone, especially young children, to stay indoors. Does that mean Blade has to hunt, th hunt these bats? Why would I hunt bats? I think technically they're more vampire-like than bat-like. So he should. No. Yes. Maybe. I'm gonna stop this conversation and do something useful. Oh man. Yo Hunter, am I fitting in? I think I'm fitting in. Sure feels like I when I'm around you. Find some found something amazing in the library. Me and you, yeah, gone. Wow. The books in this place are something else. Did you know that there is an entire section about spiders in the occult? Is it about the web of destiny? Uh Did you find anything interesting? You bet. My top two have to be a scroll about a fire-breathing spider Cerberus, and a what? haiku about a furry spider spirit that eats people's toenails. Ew. Now I know to never read them. <laughs> right? Actually, all this reading got me thinking, and there is something I wanted to run by you. Oh, really? With my spider roots, and the spiders being so occult adjacent, apparently, who knew, I can maybe be a good fit for the Midnight Suns. I'm not asking you to pull any strings for me or anything like that. I just want your honest opinion as a friend. Do you think 
I'd make a good candidate? Yeah. For now, you should focus on being the best you can be in every situation. And when this is all over, we can talk about your future. Of course, of course. Let's cop out. Either way, I would like a chance to prove myself first. Don't want anyone to say that you're giving me any special treatment. Well, I am sure you can figure out how to make that happen. One last question. Mm hmm Yes? Yes. If I read these books here, I'm not summoning any demons or evil spirits, right? Just don't Have read it out loud. Reading them aloud? Yeah. No? <laughs> to any knock that sounds unnatural or inhuman, and you should be fine. No inhuman knocks. Got it. Nice. Spider-Man combo modifier. Spider-Man and his combo partner gain fast. <gasps> nice. Is that a second passive? Oops. Stop that. Stop that. Or is that just a thing that's going to pop up on the combo cards? Uh, da, 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 da. Let's take out. Yep. And what does the Web Slinger card do? It just doesn't exhaust it and it's free. Oh, that's awesome. That is an amazing card. Morning Star. So it just keeps getting stronger up to a maximum of 152, up to a maximum of 228. So every time I use it, it gets stronger. Unfortunately, I can't see in a situation in which I would want to use that. Unless I take out Guarding Strike. It would take three uses of Morningstar to equate, equate up to that. Interesting. Oh, I did get a Mindbreaker. Forgot about that one. What do you do? Makes the target attack nearby units as their next action. That's a nice control -y card. Ugh. I still don't have anything I would want to switch out for that. I like I know these are all commons and whatnot, but I really like my setup right now. I do a decent amount of damage. That's also super helpful. Except for the discarding random card pack part. Would it be worth being able to whip someone around the battlefield, though? That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, you got a stupid little knee strike. I don't care about your knee strike. We can get rid of that one. Cool. Hunter, our recent time together was restorative to my spirit. One should always clear one's mind of the errant thoughts seeking to stir up trouble. Though I intend to do so, I'd rather wait until we can share the silence. Ah, oh, this is exactly what I needed. A chance to quiet my cluttered mind and just... be. What thoughts clutter your mind, Doctor? Ever since the Sanctum was lost, I felt a bit adrift. Lost in a cosmic sea in which I've lost my ability to navigate. I've been giving a lot of thought to the direction my life will take if we survive your mother's apocalypse, but who am I if I'm not Sorcerer Supreme? A man in a fabulous cape. Uh, he, he doesn't like who he was when he practiced medicine. Sorcerer Supreme or not, you are still an Avenger. But is that all I am? All I want to be? Perhaps this is what you should meditate on. Yes, that's a bright idea. 
Thank you for still having faith in me even when I've lost faith in myself. You are proving to be a most unexpected friend. Greater good, common passive. 50% chance to generate one heroism each turn. Yes, I like it. However, comma, I'm not a fan of the 50-50-90 rule. You can find a copy in the river. Read book. That is all. Yes, 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 yes. And where's Cap? We did that at night. Good morning, Hunter. Got a minute to chat? Sure. You wanted to speak, Captain America? Please, call me Steve or Cap. I know I'm a newer kid on the block, but I'm noticing some major divisions within this team. Yep. All the interpersonal drama is pulling focus from the real danger, Lilith. I have witnessed the divisions. I must do a better job of resolving the conflicts at hand. Hardest lessons hit the closest to our hearts. Leading others is never straightforward or easy. It's definitely not all on your shoulders, but I respect you for taking accountability. Don't forget that you're the only one of us who's beaten Lilith and paid the ultimate price for it. You stand out here as a leader. The Midnight Suns, Strange, Carol, Tony, even me. We all look to you for our cues. It's a responsibility, and it's a tough one. I have been a weapon all my life, to be wielded and directed by others. Leadership ability is not my forte. I would appreciate a few pointers. Just the fact that you're willing to learn means you're on the right track. I would benefit from your honest appraisal. Take it step by step and build some bridges between teammates. We're all tired, but some team building might be what we need, even if it's just blowing off a little steam. Times like this, it's easy to forget we're all on the same side. You've already made the ultimate sacrifice once before. I've been there. I know what it's like to be asked to do it again and again. It doesn't get easier, but you get stronger and better at making the hard calls. I've given you a lot to process, but let's pick up this conversation again soon. Sounds like a plane. It is so good to find another person who understands living across centuries. We've already said that. Uh, no serious immediate benefits from complimenting some of these people. Caretaker's not spoken a word to me all day. <laughs> it's been lovely. Not bad. Yeah, I don't really know what to do. Ooh, more stuff. Freshly mowed glass, leather mahogany. Snack box, world's grossest candy. A collection of truly revolting candies from around the world. Not for everyone, that's for sure. Yeah, I don't know who would want that. It sounds like a terrible idea. Alright, where's the book at? Fleeing the village, February 12th, 1692. Made it out of the village and the missus slipped a note under the neighbor's door on the way out. God save them all. This whole place will burn by the time Shaw is through. Me and the boy found us a cave deep in the forest that we can hide out in until we sleep, slip out in the wee hours of the morning. Anyone wishing to save themselves better see us in the old grove by nightfall. If they don't make it, they're as good as dead. The Art of War. By Sun Tzu. Laying plans exerted. 18. All warfare is based on deception. 19. Hence, when able to attack, we must seem unable. When using our forces, we must seem inactive. When we are near, we must make the enemy believe we are far away. When far away, we must make them believe we are near. Hold out baits to entice the enemy. Feign disorder and crush him. If he is insecure at all points, be prepared for him. If he is in superior strength, evade him. 
If your opponent is of choleric temper, seek to irritate him. Pretend to be weak, that he may grow arrogant. If he is taking his ease, give him no rest. If his forces are united, give him no rest. Attack him where he is unprepared. Appear where you are not expected. These military devices leading to victory must not be divulged beforehand. Now the general who wins the battle makes many calculations in his temple ere the battle is fought. The general who loses the battle makes but few calculations beforehand. Thus do many calculations lead to victory and few calculations to defeat. How much more no how much more no calculation at all. It is by attention to this point that I can foresee who is likely to win or lose. And eight, uh, section eight, variation of tactics. Exerted. Sun Tzu said, in war, the general receives his commands from the sovereign, collects his army, and concentrates the forces. When in difficult country, do not encamp. In country where high roads intersect, join hands with your allies. Do not linger in dangerously isolated posi positions. In hemmed-in situations, you must resort to stratagem. In a desperate position, you must fight. There are roads which must not be followed, armies which must not be attacked, towns which must not be besieged, positions which must not be contested, commands of the sovereign which must not be obeyed. The general who thoroughly understands the advantages that accompany variation of tactics knows how to be handle his troops. The general who does not understand these may be well acquainted with the configuration of the country, yet he will not be able to turn his knowledge to partial account. Practical account. Oops. Go. Hunter, hello. Hello. Oh, look, a new story mission. With Blade, using the information recovered from Dr. Fast's location of a hydro distribution. For an artifact, I don't really need. I do like the idea of an epic, though. KO three enemies in two turns. That's easy. Let's get massive credits, then. Hmm. We could go a few rounds. I can see you've earned your right. I already did this, right? Got some ops. Yeah. Stay out of trouble. Ooh, lot going on. Ready to go again, Okay, other enemies in two turns. Yes, 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 yes. Cool. 
surprised I haven't gotten a high enough friendship that I can get more than one combo card yet. Disable the truck? Okay. Hydro forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. It is as good as done. Don't be distracted by Hydra's agents. Focus on disabling that truck. That should be no trouble. Holy shit. Only 25%? That's unfortunate. But, you know what I always say? No guts, no glory! All who serve Lilith will fall. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Tipos. Classic glitch. Plus one redraws. Nice. I don't need the redraw just yet. You guys are just packing it in tight. Target the truck and take it out. It shouldn't be that hard for a bunch of superheroes. Now that was something.
Mucho gusto. Do I have on me? Slow. I'm going to need your axe skill real quick. Oh, look at that. There you are. Honestly, no, you're just 252. Oh, first off. They cannot possibly match your strength. Too easy. That should put a dent in their operations. Nicely done. Three stars. Yeah, because it only took me what three turns? Yes. 180 credits, most excellent. Uh, that spot does not look entirely familiar. Pucho Gusto. This room is just permanently open now. So I found that. Stone fort beneath the standing stones. This one, right? Yeah. the chance to truly know my mother only the monster she became I'm surprised I didn't already have that or that hold up so is there an inventory for that for those doll, handmade caretaker doll, handmade hunter doll. Yeah, that would be all three of them, wouldn't it? So what do I do with those? right 
Wow. Okay. Well, I seriously missed one of those, though. I should have known you'd wind up here eventually. You were somehow always here as a child. If only I had known him. And still you masked even this from me. My own father's grave. It wasn't you I was hiding it from. I've been making a lot of apologies to you lately. Now, they probably don't mean that much. But I am sorry, Hunter. Lilith's relationship with your father went against our ways, our purpose, or so I believed at the time. It was the Elder Gods themselves who first breathed life into us. Human notions like falling in love couldn't possibly be part of their plan. And then you met Agatha. If only I'd realized it sooner. I might have been a little kinder towards him, especially at the end. What happened? A great sickness came upon this area just before you were born. Your father was one of the first to fall. With all your power, the two of you, you could not save him? Lilith was a gifted healer, but this was no ordinary plague. The corruption went beyond his physical body. In the end, there was nothing we could do. What did Lilith do? She did what anyone would have done. She grieved. But in her grief, she lost herself. And her grief turned into anger. Is that when you took me from her? It wasn't long after that. Things started to fall apart before my eyes. I couldn't see another way out but to run. The plague that turned her into the mother of demons? No, this was something else. But cut from the same cloth. Your mother was no longer the woman I knew. The sister I had fought alongside for centuries. She was gone. I have never heard you talk this way before, Sarah. It's hard to walk the grounds here without churning up so many old memories. Is that why you locked him off? you understand why I don't venture out here that often anymore. You were not affected by the plague? We were all affected, whether we were among the sick or not. I'm sure there was a time when your mother and I both would have just as soon joined the dead than continue to watch the villagers suffer. I cannot imagine you ever reaching that point. Lilith may have been the most skilled herbalist in the New World. I saw her perform near miracles with the potions she concocted from the plants in her garden. She was consumed by the idea of finding a cure. But she never found one. No, despite her efforts, nothing ever worked. I can see how that would be a dark time for both of you. With darker times still to come. Thank you, Sarah. Your timing may need work, but I appreciate the honesty. <laughs> Anything for you, Hunter. Anything. Ward. Is this easy to bring a family together? Right. I don't believe anything. Ooh. Nice. Tell me about my father. Believe it or not, you could thank your father for those good looks of yours. There is a striking resemblance. Thanks. I only have the faintest memory of him. What was he like? He was honest. A working man, you could say. Authentic. Of course, I still didn't like him. But that wasn't really his fault. I'm old enough to admit that now. But he loved my mother? He loved her, and she was smitten with him. As the story goes, they were happy together. For a time. Until I came along?